Today, we're checking out Skibbity Toilets 1 through 44. All Easter egg secrets and more. So if you enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like and let's get into it. Starting with the newest edition, 44. As you know, the toilets were attacking. A giant toilet got thrown at them when they were running away from the TV Titan. And this is where the Easter eggs get crazy. Our first time ever seeing this guy. Okay, he has a whole new back. He's like Dr. Octavius with those arms. But as you can see, that he was no match for the TV Titan once he broke his glasses. But this is the first look at the newest phase of the soldier toilet. He's an upgraded soldier toilet that can shoot rockets at the TV Titan. And this is when the TV Titan gets an upgrade where he becomes one of the most powerful forms. He uses sound to break the glasses and the, and the light to go ahead and make them go crazy. But... This is where it gets even crazier because this is the attack of the infected Speaker Titan. As you can see, he's currently infected. And the thing with the Speaker Titan, he doesn't have eyes. Now in 44, that was the first time we ever saw the TV Titan sad. And actually the first time we have ever seen any of the Titans sad. But this is also the first time we ever saw the introduction of the glasses, which prevents the, the toilet men from being affected by TV men. And right when they learned about the glasses, they said, bye, we're out of here. Now, the cameramen were pretty much a little bit ready for this fight, but not really. They lost. Of course, we've got to start off with number 42. As you know, the TV men are very powerful. But did you guys know that the TV men's blue light allows for the infected to no longer be infected? And if these infected little corruptions get blue light as well, they start fighting each other. But if you notice, there is some secret Easter eggs in this video. Like we take off that and of course, this new guy. Now, this guy is special because two reasons. First things first, those are wheels underneath him. He's technically a toilet car and he has hands. On top of that, he also has no mouth. And there's also a giant toilet in the background of the TV men. This is number 41. And for sure you missed something in this one because look right here. Do you see it? That's right. That is a three-person toilet never before seen. It's almost like a bathtub toilet thing, and I'm not even sure what it is. Of course, we got the flying toilet, the spider toilet, but this is where it gets a little crazy, all right? When the TV Titan comes, as you guys know, it creates this massive looming like, holy, all the toilets stopped attacking because he was so big and so scary, right? and instantly made all of them flush themselves. They all flush themselves, which is crazy because it never before has toilets flush themselves, meaning that the TV men are the strongest we've ever seen before. But we already knew that, right? And they're really nice to the cameramen. The TV men love the cameramen, as you can see. To understand all the Easter eggs, we've got to go to episode one and check out all the secrets. Now, this is a remake version with all these new characters never before seen. Toilet face is a poster. Toilet face is a poster. Then we go to episode two, which has a dancing cameraman, Genie from Aladdin, Gordon Freeman and G-Man dancing a cat face. Meow. I don't know why that's there. And then uh, a rumored picture of the creator of Skibidi. Then we've got another toilet face in the elevator and then these urinals with the green skull lady. Now, of course, after they go ahead and do their thing, the green one in the middle comes out and then turns into a skull watch. Ready? Boom. See? Now, in the background of this one, we've got a spinning Gordon Freeman. We've got camera buses. We've never seen camera buses before. In the background, we got dancing cameramen. We've got a man running on, on the spot. And then, look at this. He gets ran over by a toilet. We've got a guy getting run over by a toilet. This is when the toilets start infiltrating the city. This is the first few episodes. We've got a flying toilet outside of a restaurant. A cameraman from the first series. And then we've got people sitting on toilets in a restaurant eating poop. They're eating poop in a restaurant, guys. Now, another photo of the creator of Skibidi. Look at this guy. Look at this weird guy. Look at him. That's poop. They're eating poop. Now, listen. The Skibidis get into the restaurant. And everyone in the restaurant turns into Skibidi toilets. You see how the humans have turned into toilets? It's because Skibidi toilets infect humans. Everyone in here, even the weird guy we're just looking at, gets infected. You see, everyone's here. This, I don't know who that guy is, but listen, everyone in here is on toilets already. They're sitting on toilets. Once the heads come in, everyone that was sitting on a toilet becomes a Skibidi toilet. So, the, so th these all used to be humans. Imagine! 
The entire city's being infected by toilets. Isn't that crazy? Now, the human army is getting ready to fight. We have all the all the units out. Everyone's getting ready. The flying toilets fly in. It gets scary here now, guys. And let me tell you, it gets crazier and crazier with every Skibbity episode. You see all these guys coming in, flying toilets. It's a little crazy. It's it, 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 Yeah. Now, inside, we've got the first toilet ever. And Spider-Man. What is Spider-Man doing here, guys? I don't even know why Spider-Man's in this. But in Skibidi, we have Spider-Man. DJ Skibidi is dancing. He's getting ready for the big party. You know, he's, he's he's living his best life. Living living his best life. But in the background, we've got some guys dancing. Calhoun and G-Man. Then we've got the first toilet ever. The default toilet. You see, look at this. We flush him. He's gone. But, you know, that's not always the nicest thing to do because other toilets get angry. They get really angry when you flush their friends. You see, they come after you. And sometimes the boss man comes after you. This is the this is the first look at the big boss. In the background, this we got a dancing G-Man. And then we've got all the toilet army members coming to fight, dudes. Oh man, look at them. They look crazy. Now, this is the first time we see down cameramen inside here. On this part, a golden toilet. I think that was added. I don't know if the first toilet ever added that golden toilet. But they're in some kind of park. They're praising the park. You can see this committee's all get flushed here. And then this is the first look at our uh, police toilets. We, of course, spray paint over that bad boy. Then we've got the police toilets. These guys aren't very strong. They're like the normal toilets. What is that? Uh, a rat that just ran by. We've got a first toilet ever. Like that, the first toilet ever is like they're like supreme. Like they, they're really thankful of him, right? So they're in church. This is the holy toilet. Yeah, I don't know why they go to church. Toilet, I guess toilet. Is this toilet church? I guess it would be toilet church. Now, once the cameramen come in, he, they get eaten. And of course, dudes, the flushing begins. They get rid of him. There he goes. Goodbye, sir. Have a good one. Yep. That, 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 that's how they got evaporated. They have a flying skeleton in this episode. Our first look at different types of cameramen. And of course, the triple demon. Now, in the front, you see them getting run over right here. I'm not sure what happens. They just, they just get destroyed by the triple demon. The triple toilet. Yeah, they, they get wrecked. We have a painted banner there, and the cameramen are having a war on this bridge. It's going down. It's explosions everywhere. Ah! Watch out, dude. Yeah, flush this guy. Goodbye. See you later. Now, a lot of you guys have seen all of these, but they get crazier and crazier with things that you may have missed. So stay with me because now we have boss phase two, right? This is the boss man phase two with laser beam eyes. We saw him three episodes ago, and now he has laser beam eyes. Then we upgrade. We've got the cameraman or the camera turret, the spider camera. We drop down from the sky onto this guy. We get destroyed by the laser. We go to flush him, but the flying to the flying toilet gets flushed and then we get attacked by a flying toilet. Of course, more cameramen. Now we're walking straight into war. First look at grandpa toilet. Grandpa toilet's pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. He looks a little cuckoo in the coconuts. And then we have rocket toilet also known as soldier toilet there's a few names for him so we're dancing we've got a whole army behind us right here our first look at a brown toilet our first brown toilet being showcased and the city is about to get bada booey baba booey yep goodbye destroyed all of them gone easy peasy lemon squeezy but then we get hit with the painted banner in the background and then we get hit by the soldier toilet yeah he destroyed us now, this is the first toilet ever, uh, like, pretty much warehouse. This is where they were doing illegal operations. This is the scientist toilet that gets converted. So he upgrades after a while. That guy does. And you can see we're currently inside of, a uh, like, a low... A cat toilet. What the heck? And a dumb toilet. What the heck? I never... Among Us? I've never seen this one before. Okay, and then it explodes because the, the camera toilet explodes. But then a spider toilet comes out and eats us. Not fun. These down here is uh, the triple toilet. Then we've got the spider toilets. We got the rocket toilet. And then we've got, of course, the G-Man who's having a meeting with all his toilets. Now, we're going to blow him up. Goodbye, sir. Now, this is the um, pretty much the orbital strike. All right? The orbital strike toilet. It's a handy cam. It, it didn't do a good job. It, 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 they survived. As you can see, we, we, didn't, we didn't get them all. We, we barely did any damage to them. 
So we got a broken toilet statue because this is the square that they were at earlier, the police and everything. We've got this. We got the camo toilet phase one. All right. This is the camo toilet phase one. And our first look at our Titan. Now, this is the camera Titan. And he's able to stop all these toilets pretty easy because they're so small. He just crushes them. Now, the camera toilet is pretty awesome, but they're eating french fries, popcorn, and drinking drinks, watching the toilet destroy everything and the triple demon. He flushes the first one. The second one gets a nice bite into his neck. We've got another camera eating uh, popcorn on the side there. And then th the last one gets beamed. Absolutely destroyed. Blinded, bro. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Now, what's crazy about this Titan is that the camera Titan on phase two, this is the phase two of the boss man. He's able to he's able to deflect it, but he gets absolutely bombarded. And because of this, he has to retreat. We all know that there's no secret he had to retreat. Right now, the toilets are winning, but this is the, the, the a danger sign, the German flag, and of course, G-Man toilet photo. We're looking for the G-Man boss man, all right? Now, he's a tied up uh, toilet because we're interrogating him. He's known as the interrogation toilet. We end up not getting anything good from him. He ends up like going crazy, so we have to flush him, but he ends up summoning the G-Man boss man. Yeah, so we get lasered. Then we have dancers on top of roofs, dude. I don't know what they're doing on the roofs, but they were there. They were there. Okay, as you can see, beams going out. This is phase two still of the G-Man boss, man. We gotta flush him, but the, the cameramen are too weak. They're too weak. We, we couldn't flush him all the way. This is us working on the Titan. These are engineer cameramen, which we need. They have, they have saws on their hands. I'm not sure why or, or like, I don't know what they're like, laser beams? This is the cameraman Mark. Once these guys saw the Titan in here, they decided they, 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 they needed to leave. They need to leave ASAP. They can't be in there. And of course, they get destroyed by the Titan. One easy explosion. Good job. Good job. But you can see they're all working on the cameraman, repairing him, making sure he's all good to go. We're flushing left and right. We're doing what we got to do. Our hydro toilet. This is the five-headed toilet. Now, that is a cameraman airship. Many people miss that airship. It's really important because this is where all the webcam man and the speaker man have, have come from. The woofer mans all come from there. Our first look at a, at a webcam man driving a toilet. Of course, the brown toilet from earlier, the second time we see him. Now, what's crazy is we have a toilet crawling on the wall and we've got the toilet crawling on the wall and we're told put on some headphones because the speakers are about to do their work. Now, of course, the speakers blow away all the toilets. Everyone gets destroyed, no problem, and everyone celebrates on the camera side. Now, this is a camera hitting a toilet with a plunger in the in the bottom. He just plunging him down, and this is where we go on a rampage. What's up, bro? Remember me? Yep. On episode 15, he did the same thing to us, so we did it to him. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. I. No, you get flushed. We get saved by the woofer man. The woofer man saved our life, but then this is... Whoa, I didn't know that guy was there, the Calhoun. This is the robber toilet. The robber toilet almost gets us, but we get saved by the speaker toilet, by the speaker titan. Yeah, and surprisingly enough, the robber survived all those blasts. He, he survived all the blasts from the blasters of the speaker toilet, which is scary. Another brown toilet siding, which is nice. We break in here. We go ahead and start flushing everybody. We get surprise attacked. But then we get we get, we get get the good flush off. So good job. We get the good flush off. Mafia toilet, guys. First look at the mafia toilet. We even have the jetpack toilet and the electric toilet in this video. The electric toilet's scary. So we have the electric toilet and the mafia toilet here. They're all just having their best life. But then we also have the smallest toilet as well. The smallest toilet can be spawned. Oh gosh, this is when we get spotted. But this is when the Titan comes and saves the day. <sighs> I love the Titans. The Titans are so epic. They're, they're like the heroes of the story, guys. They're the best. Absolutely the best. I, I love that guy. He's so awesome. I'm wearing a red shirt just like him. Wait, human skin. He does have human skin. But a lot of them have human skin. Camera woman, we saw her. The first toilet ever, like reading a book. He's reading a book about the toilets while sitting on a toilet. 
And as you know, this is the electric toilet. The crazy, the flash toilet, a lot of different names. Yeah, he's one of the strongest. He, he's crazy strong. And they just saw him get destroyed and he was stronger than all of them. So they pretty much knew that they were goners. Yeah, they, you can't run. You literally cannot run. He's so fast. You're, yeah, you're, you're dead. He destroyed everything. Literally destroyed everything and destroyed us. We lost our head, but it's fine. We respawned. It's no problem. Now, this is the scientist toilet. The scientist toilet, as you guys know, go ahead and spits out these infected little corruptions. And then they corrupt the cameramen and make them the slaves. They make them little slaves. It's really creepy. I'm not going to lie. It's very creepy. Cameraman corpse. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of toilets watching all this happen. Oh, yeah. This is where we have a lot of infected, corrupted, a lot of corrupted cameramen. Yoink! Got him. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. So many, so many cameramen. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Yeah. The speaker man's going in, of course. The, the infected go out and try to infect the cameraman. He's fighting the camo toilet, and then the Titan, as you guys know, gets corrupted. But did you guys know that one of them gets killed? But it only takes one corrupted. See, the color even changes. He turns evil here. He starts destroying all his friends and shoots at us. It's really sad that that happened. I'm going to be honest. The Titan was so strong for us. We, we were winning by a lot. And then, okay, this is where the, the boss man toilet, the G-man, gets an upgrade, guys. He, he has his eyes. We have the YouTube. We have the YouTube sign there. He shoots the YouTube sign, but this is where it gets really creepy. All right. He starts to get stronger. We've already got the infected. We, they, they, the toilets have infected a lot of cameramen at this point. So we've got to create a device that stops this from happening. And that's exactly what's done. We can crush this little guy with our hands. But not only does the color change on the Titan, the color changes on his shirt. You see, he has a red shirt now. Now, these are all infected. We create a pulse cannon to uninfect all of them. It instantly stops the corruption. But this this pulse ray beam is not strong enough to change him back. So we've got to create something stronger. The first pulse cannon user gets destroyed, and then we're on the run. We're running for our lives. Yeah, they're just yeah, they're they're pretty much they're, they're not good. It's not good. Now, cameraman eating popcorn. Everyone loves popcorn. We've got the pulse rays dual wield. All right. Whoa, our first look at the TV man. You, you saw him? It was the first look at the TV man up there. He was hiding in the background. And we flush everything. Everything gets flushed. Everyone's excited. We flush everything. Flush the big toilet. Goodbye, sir. Have a good one. No problem. Then we've got another TV man on the bridge. He's been watching all this happen, right? We've got a bunch of speakers that have been corrupted. And this is our first look at the mutant toilet. Now, the pulse ray blaster has no effect on the mutated toilets. You have to go ahead and stop them by stabbing them in the electric box. The Titan is fighting all the people. A toilet with a pulse. You see, like, yeah, we just ran over a, a toilet. The pulse cannon, though, we have to stop the Titan. And it's the only way but an upgraded G-Man with now blaster cannons on the side and jetpack he's got a jetpack and he can have both uh, a pulse cannons then we've got the jetpack destroying some cameramen here we flush here we've got the plunger we've seen the plunger before but it gets used very nicely here and this is a like the real first look at the tv man's powers the whole time everything was going on these guys were watching to see what was happening in the war and they determined that the toilet men are evil they don't want the toilet men to be involved in this war and they want to help the cameramen and it's the first look at the tv men helping the cameramen and we've got a giant toilet in the background and yeah they're great he smiles at us then of course we have the the, the plunger again we go ahead and destroy this guy with the plunger no we don't the tv men are here to help this is our first look at the big man the big tv man but we have to wear protective lenses for anything big all right i i believe for the small guys we don't need to just because they're smaller but yeah we're able to flush everyone here because the the tv men really save the cameraman here it really helps we also got a new smile but guess what it doesn't stop there on 41 as you guys know we've got to put the protective lens on because all these bad boys are here 
Earlier, we talked about these three in that bathtub thing, but this is our first look at the TV Titan. As you guys know, the strongest of all TV Titan, the camera Titan, speaker Titan, and the boss man, all right? This guy's the strongest. This makes them all flush themselves, which has never before been done. The other ones, the other TV men just make them freak out. They don't know what to do. This guy makes them flush themselves, which is crazy to think about. That he can just make them flush themselves. So I'm a big fan of the TV Titan. He he does really good work. And if you guys didn't know, there's a new smiley face.